I, 27 female, went backpacking all alone the recent long weekend, which was 10 out of 10 beautiful. The second night I camped at a beautiful high elevation, which could also be accessed by a short one mile trail. So there were a few other campers and several people who were just there during the day hiking or fishing. It was late afternoon and I was sitting around the camp reading when a guy mid twenties walked by carrying a fishing pole and a small cooler. Didn't think much of it, but five to 10 minutes later, he doubled back and came and said hi. I said hi and went back to reading, but then without any warning, he sat down on the stump next to me. I was completely taken back at the invasion of my personal space, obviously. He started talking and asking me questions that were really just statements, but in creepy amused tones, like, so you're just reading, and then looked behind me and noticed my tent and said, oh, you're staying the night here alone, huh? I didn't say anything in response to this in particular, but it's obvious that I am. It's hard to explain, but his vibe was just really off. I was so uncomfortable that I really couldn't even form any type of words or tell him that I was trying to be alone to get him to leave. I was honestly paralyzed. His eyes were just so dead and so dark and just drilling into me. I just responded with like, uh, uh uh-huh or, uh, yep, something like that. And just tried to pretend that I was still reading. Without warning, he pulls out and cracks open a beer, lights a cigarette, and just starts blowing it at me. At this point, I'm so uncomfortable that I just don't respond. Soon, another hiker wandered up and struck up a conversation with him, and I took the opportunity to grab my water filter in my bladder and pretend that I needed to get water. I went to the shore and filtered some water super slowly and saw him walk away to go sit with a new guy, which made me super relieved. Except that he kept looking in my direction. I came back eventually and got inside my tent for about 20 minutes. Everything was fine. I had the rain fly pulled back and was watching the sunset and loosely organizing my things when he popped out from behind my tent and stood maybe one foot away from my door looking down at me. He didn't say anything, but just started laughing, like really creepily, fakely again. I asked him, what? And his response was, this is just really funny. I felt literally sick to my stomach, and I finally responded with something like, I'm taking a nap now, so you have a good night. He laughed again, but luckily left. Later, I saw him still wandering around the camp with no purpose, still looking into my direction often. I had no service, but I wrote down his last name, or at least what was written on his cooler, and where he said he was from while talking to the other hiker, and put it in my notes app just in case, and slept with my pocket knife close. I debated leaving that camp that night but ended up staying and just leaving super early in the morning in case he came back. Normally while backpacking, I think of the worst things that could happen. I always imagine that I might run into a bear or I sprained an ankle, or maybe this just seems not too bad if you're reading it. But this truly was the most unsettling experience I've had in the backcountry. I'm sure I'll be back soon, but hopefully somewhere far away from this guy. All right, so this happened about eight months ago. My family, my friend and I were all on vacation in Konkin, Texas. We rented out an Airbnb to stay at for the week with the backyard having a little green belt slash forest to the left. My friend and I would play hide and seek out there, just for fun, because of how many good spots were there. When it started to get dark, he wanted to continue playing, so we did. Nothing strange happened. For the next two days, my whole family, he and I, 
would go out and have fun fishing and hiking. On about the third day of staying in the house, we get back at about 6 to 7 p.m. And by then the sun is kind of starting to set. So we go out and play hide and seek in the dark, in the woods. At the back of the house, there's a back door that leads out to a little patio with a roof and walls with a window screen. Basically just a small room. Once you walk out of that room, the entire backyard is just grass and a fire pit in the middle. If you turn left, there's the forest. In the far left corner of the yard, there was a path that led through the woods. And that's where we would go to play. Also, there was a small shed on the left side, right by the tree line of the woods. Keep in mind, this was about 8 p.m. because of how long we were playing. So by now, it's super dark. The only light was the moon, the flashlight on my phone, and a small light on the patio, which can barely be seen once you're in the woods. We've been playing for about an hour now, and it's my turn to find him. This is a pretty important part to know. My friend hid right next to that shed, which is right next to the tree line, so he wasn't really hiding in the forest, but I obviously didn't know that at the time. So as I'm walking straight through the forest, the path didn't really have any turns. I decided to start recording on my phone, and I started to kind of give up after looking for him for about two minutes. So I call his name, Javi. It's silent for about three seconds, when out of nowhere, I heard a high-pitched screech from about 40 feet away, a little bit to my right. At first, I thought it was just him, so I started walking towards the noise, waiting for him to jump out at me. I was about in the middle of the woods, and the noise 100% came from in front of me, not behind me where my friend was hiding, so whatever made that noise wasn't him. After a few seconds, I said his name again. Javi. The same noise again, but in higher pitch. I tried to laugh it off, creeped out so I yelled his name once again, but whatever was making that noise responded. It responded with a howling type of noise, but it sounded closer to me. I immediately sprint out of there, sounding like a little nerd while running. Bro, stop, this isn't funny. When I get back to the yard, I shine my flashlight near the shed because he was breaking sticks and then he jumps out to scare me. I asked him if it was him making those noises and if he heard it too and he replied, I thought that was you. Sure, it could have been my friend, but I still don't think so. I've attached the video in the comments. Let me know what you think. So, I was a wildland firefighter back in the day in Arizona. I worked in the forest that was generally populated with a lot of recreation in the northern portion, but I worked in the south portion of the forest that was really remote. It barely had any roads or campgrounds, so if you wanted to recreate there, you had to work for it. The fire crew I was on had two duty stations one in the small town where the rest of the forest employees worked and one that was about two and a half hours away up a really windy mountain. The remote duty station had an old forest service ranger station and a new double wide trailer that was recently put in. When I worked at this place, it had no cell reception. When my crew and I weren't working, we were playing horseshoes and watching movies. They did eventually add cell phones boosters, which sadly made people play on their phones, but I digress. So for my creepy story, I want to keep it pretty simple, but my supervisor from that crew had experienced some weird things as well working up there. There was one night he told me he was cowboy camping, which was sleeping outside with no tent, and he kept getting weird mucusy drops of liquid on his face. He kept looking around and even yelling, and no one was around him. He told me he wasn't below any trees or anything like that, so it wasn't tree sap. He never slept outside of there ever again. 
which leads me to believe that he was telling me the truth. Now for my story. I have had other interesting experiences at the remote duty station, but this one was scary. It was the night of the 4th of July, and we weren't on a fire, so the crew was playing horseshoes and having a good time. Everyone went to bed pretty early because we were going to have PT hike the next day. I had my own small room in a double wide trailer and my bed was situated next to the big window. I started dozing off but felt still awake and I heard one of my coworkers outside of my window asking me to come outside. I was laying on my side facing the window and I didn't look up but I felt pretense by the window. It felt as though something tall and looming over me was outside. They kept beckoning me, and I said no. Pretty quickly, their voice started to change to a deeper, raspier, angrier voice. They started cursing at me. Get the fuck outside. I just froze. It was sort of demonic. I lay frozen, not moving while they yell at me. Eventually, it stopped and I fell asleep. I woke up the next day and wanted to ask my coworker if he was standing outside of my window, but I felt too weird about it. Perhaps this was a mild form of sleep paralysis, but it was still weird. Now, if you made it this far, I wanted to say thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. This is the first time I've done a Backwoods video, so let me know how it is down in the comment section if you don't mind. Make sure to like, comment, and if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed what you heard, make sure to subscribe. If you like stories like this, I do have a lot of deep woods on, on my channel, so make sure to check that out if you do like these type of stories. Also, make sure to check out the link in the description, like my Twitter, Instagram, everything like that is in there, including my Gmail if you would like to submit a story. And also, make sure to check out the channel member section on the channel. I just uploaded a new video, so if you would like to see that, make sure to go check that out. But with that being said, stay safe, stay scary, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm recording this right now. And I pray that it comes out Thursday, tomorrow. So, if it doesn't, it'll come out Friday. And then I'll say Thursday's too. Okay, I'm gonna shut up.